everybody. I think I wore, have worn this sweater like five times. Anyway, I finished another book. It's been a while. It's been nine days. I think that that might be the longest I've gone in between finishing books. Um, I'll have to check, but it has been quite some time. And it is not because I was reading a super long book. It was just because I was not reading very much. Um, but I finished Summer at Tiffany. Emily lent this to me. She lent this to me when she lent me um, Tuesdays with Maury. Uh, and so I didn't get to... Well, I was reading it along with everything else. So I started it like... I started it a while ago, like on the 1st of February, I think. Um, so I've been reading this book for a long time, but it was not my priority book. Like I was reading Death on the Nile and then I read Out of the Silent Planet, I was reading Hamnet. So I had just a couple of other, I just washed my face and there's like water in my ear. Um, so I was reading a bunch of other books while I was reading this one. Um, but since I finished Out of the Silent Planet, I put this at the top of the list. And I think that this was, like, my favorite book that I have read in February. I love this book. It's just about um, these two girls, Marty and Marjorie. And they are spending their summer in New York City. And so they're working at Tiffany, Tiffany and Company. Um, and so it's 1945. It takes place, um, like, b before VJ Day. Also, VJ Day was, like, a day or two after my birthday, and I had no idea. Not that I was born in 1945, but you know what I mean. Um, and so it's, like, it's super simple, but it's so, like, fulfilling. Like, it just made me so happy to read it. Um, and it's not, like, a book that changes the world, and it's not, like, a memoir about forming, I don't know, like, the cure for cancer or something like that. It's just these two girls working at Tiffany for the summer. And it's just, it's so nice. Um, and I love the cover. I'm pretty sure that's the Tiffany building. Um, or just, yeah. But I loved it. I loved it so much. Uh, so unfortunately I have to give this back. But I did order myself my own copy of it because I loved it so much. Um, and I read, let's see if I can get it. I probably am not, I'm not even going to try. Um, I read this book called The Shoemaker's Wife. And that was like the first book I read that got me back into actually reading. Um, so I read that in August and then I finished it in September. That was a long book. That was like almost 500 pages. But the author, Adriani Tri Trigiani or Trigiani, um, put, has a blurb on the top of this. And she writes, like, Italian historical fiction. So The Shoemaker's Wife is, like, goes over... You, Everyone should read that. That book is so good. It goes over, like, 60 years. It's a love story. Um, but she also has a new book coming out called The Good Left Undone. Coming out April 26th uh, that I'm hoping to get. But, yeah, this book was so fun. I am upset that I read the end. What is my cat doing? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I was sad that I read not the end, but the, the summer after Tiffany section, this section, cause it's sad. Like it's not happy at all. Um, wait, was that it? Yeah. The summer after Tiffany. That was really upsetting. Um, but the book was great. I love the book and I, I know, I think I know what I'm reading next. I've got lots of. I have two other books that I'm reading at the same time and one that I probably won't finish for for a while. Um, but then obviously, I don't know, I, I have not talked about this in a while, but Emily and I were reading Sense and Sensibility. We haven't read that in, a, in quite some time. Um, but we're, what is she doing? Oh, I can't turn you that far because you're plugged in. She's like rubbing her face up against my dresser drawer. Oh, now she's going to push my, push my hydro flask off my desk. Okay, she stopped moving. Okay, she's sitting down. I don't know. Um, but 
Yeah, this was a really good book. I really liked that I read it in February, too. So this is my 12th book of the year, which means my next book is going to be my 13th book of the year. And 13 is my lucky number. So it better be a good one. Um, and I wanted to do something like ceremonious for 13 books, but I don't think I will because I don't know what to pick. Um, oh, let me show you this. Okay. Ella got this for me because she read my Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo paperback copy. And in her possession, it got a little janky. Um, and so I was a little upset, a lot of upset, because I love my books. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I have a strange attachment to my books. Um, so she got me the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo hardcover. And isn't that just fantastic? Oh my god, I'm so in love with it. I think if I reread it, I'll probably reread it with this. Um, but it's just, oh, I love this cover, and you can't find it anywhere in the U.S. And so she found it, and she got it for me. Um, but yeah, that's, it's so awesome. Uh, anyway, that's it. I love Summer at Tiffany. Thank you, Emily, for lending this to me. And I'll see you all soon when I finish my next book. See you later.